I was with a couple recently that had a beautiful little girl, and they said to me why her mind is like a sponge. See, the mind grows by taking in. But as that child grows, they will find that the heart in that child grows by giving out. And this is true for you and me also. Our mind takes in, but our heart grows by giving out. In 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7, the Bible says this, God loves a cheerful giver. Are you a cheerful giver? If you follow the instructions in God's word, you must be. When we give, God looks not only at the quality of our gift, but also the condition of our heart. I've often told people in my prosperity seminars, when I'm talking about tithing, that if they can't give cheerfully, if they can't give with an excited attitude, well, don't give at all. Do you know what the, I didn't mean to go into this, but I will, what the original translation of this Bible verse is? It is, God loves an hilarious giver. A person that is overcome with the joy of giving back. If we give in a generous way, joyfully and without complaint, we are living in accordance with God's will. But if we offer our gifts grudgingly, oh, like, oh, I don't want to do this, but I will, don't do it. Your, your gift is not going to come back to you multiplied. It is literally tainting the seed that you plant. Our gift has to be a generous one. And the generosity, the true generosity, comes in the heart of the gift. The Bible talks about the widow that gave a penny and how that was worth more than some of the gifts that were worth thousands of dollars. Well, that's because of the attitude in which it was given. Today, pledge to be a cheerful, generous, courageous giver that is feeling just overcome with joy on giving back to God. The world needs your help. God needs your help. And you'll benefit from the spiritual rewards that will be yours when you give in a faithful way, a prayerful way, and a cheerful way.